Hi teachers at Living Word, it's Miss Carol. And this week makes me think of that song, Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. Anyway, last week we had the ending of the world story. This week we're gonna start a little, just two week duo of lessons about creation and how God created our world. So, uh, after those two weeks then about creation, I'm gonna turn you over to David Colson because he has an idea to do a VBS kind of oriented uh, Sunday school for the fall. He's gonna do it about King David. And each week there'll be a craft kit that you can get supplies for at church and you can uh, use a video that they're gonna make with the storytelling and a puppet. So it'll be fun and we'll start that for fall Sunday school until we're able to get back together for in-person classes. We do have teachers ready to teach whenever it happens that uh, we can get back to class at church again. But until then, it'll be fun to do King David with David Colson. So, uh, this week, it's almost the same format as before. There's a couple extra pages, but the lesson is entitled, A Mighty Wonder. It is about God creating the earth, and it's downloaded below. And the objective is that we want the children to know that God did make the entire world, including us and he did it through his word. So that's our objective. And for a launch activity, they suggest talking about things that your children like to make. If they like to build with blocks or, I don't know the new thing you build with, tinker toys, whatever, magnet tiles, I think, whatever. Anyway, uh, you can do that or you can get the Play-Doh out again and have them make an animal or a person and then get into the story by saying, yeah, we can make them out of Play-Doh or blocks or whatever, but God can make them really breathing, living creatures. <laughs> we can't do that. And this is the story about how God did. And so you're going to tell the story then. And again, you have the uh, narratives for older children and younger children. Plus, I downloaded another page that has just about the same story, but you can also use that. After you tell the story, you might want to talk with your children about what job God left for Adam and Eve when he left them in the garden, and that was to take care of his creation. Well, how can we take care of his creation? What can we do? to take care of the earth. And that's one, one vein that your discussion could go. There's other discussion questions as well. Now the special pages or the extra pages this week are that story page. But I really like this one because there's some interesting things about God's creation and how wonderfully made our bodies are and other animals as well. So you might use these pictures and this information to talk about how wonderfully made we are by our Heavenly Father. And it also then leads you to the question of how are we going to take care of God's earth. One of the suggestions on the live page, which is included down there but again, is that you have the children uh, write down the sequence of things that God created. And so I found this sheet that gives you the scripture references for each time frame. And in each circle then your children can write or draw what it was that God created during that time frame. So this page is downloaded below as well. Uh, that's a quick overview of what the lesson is about this week. 
I wanted to tell you about one extra thing I'm going to do, and this is not to tell the story. It is not to replace what you are going to do to tell the story. So make sure you do that part first. This is just a book that I like that has a creation tie-in, a creation connection. And I also thought it might be a good book to read before we're starting school again this year. Uh, it's by Max Licato, and it's called Best of All. And it's not a true story. It's a pretend story. It's a made-up story. And I will begin by telling your, telling your children that. It did not come from the Bible. It's not true like the stories that we have from the Bible. But it's a fun story. And it's a story that can teach us something about God's creation. And so I will record that in a story time below. You can choose to use it or not. It may take me a little bit longer because it's a little bit longer than the usual arch books that I read. Uh, I'm guessing maybe 15 minutes, not sure exactly, but uh, <clears throat> it's there if you want to use it. It will be recorded below, but again, don't use it to tell your kids the Bible story. It doesn't tell them the Bible story, so you have to do that first. So you have a good time this week telling the creation story to your children and helping them realize that God our Heavenly Father made us and he made us and continues to care for us and continues to love us as we take care of his world and we know that nothing can take God's love away from us. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Have a good week sharing the word with your children. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.